So aren't you two just adorable in this film? Oh, God. <laughs> you are adorable. adorable. <laughs> Um, so I want to start with this, since this is sort of about giving yourself a second chance or taking a second chance. Um, is there anything in your lives that you would want to do over, either a great moment or a, a moment that you regret not taking a chance on or something like that? Um, I don't know, actually. I, I think that is a question most people will have conflicts about, unless you have some very, very big thing that, <clears throat> you know, has defined your life in a way you regret. <laughs> I would say I think things should be the way they just, they turned out, mm. really. Yes, there are things I would have done differently um, with a bit more wisdom with hindsight, but... Uh, like not working with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, just look at my catalogue of work. But, um, <laughs> no, it's... I, I, I don't... No, I wouldn't undo things. Okay. Um, Emily? I God, I don't know. I mean, I think there's nice moments I'd like to relive, you know. I just lost my grandma, actually, which has been really heartbreaking, and she was really close to all of us grandkids because... Um, we spent endless time with her. Every childhood memory I have, she's there. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go back and hang out with her again. I'd, I'd like that. That's a big one. But I think, somebody. you know, when you lose someone, I think that you you want to relive those moments. But then again, at the same I know I've got to just let her go and let her pass on peacefully, you know. So I don't know, if anything, I'd probably like to go back and be a fly on the wall and watch her with us when we were kids, you know. Everybody, I think, I think death is actually, uh, when you lose somebody, it's the if, if that question has a big answer, it's yeah. that. I think almost everyone wishes something when someone's when it's too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, both of these are kind of ambiguous characters for both of you. What did you guys like about that for each of you? What did you like about playing her, and what did you like about playing him? You just have such this way of drawing a woman in and just oh! wanting to love you. <laughs> <laughs> My salmon polo shirt. Salmon polo shirts and the brown and slacks the slacks really up to here. did it, yeah. The nipple high slacks. You knew they'd draw them. Uh, so no, well. How'd you do it? it? And that room. really conservative haircut. Everyone you know. gasping as I walked through yeah. the, the golf club. I was gasping with laughter the first <laughs> time I saw him wearing that hideous salmon polo shirt. <laughs> Woo, that was My rough. color palette did nothing <laughs> really for me in anybody's eyes. Um, I, I, well, ambiguity. I, for, for an actor, it's one of the things you crave. I mean, there's nothing more debilitating for an actor than just having one dimension mm -hmm. uh, on a page, you know. Uh, it's, it, it's fantastic to have a bit of a conflict going on, you know. This is what you seem to be doing, but actually something else is pulling in another direction yeah. and all that sort of thing. I mean, that's, that's basically the, the, you know, the material that, that fires us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this was full of that stuff. I agree. I think it was full of these ca the the characters not wanting to reveal themselves, and that's a really interesting thing to play. Really, really fun and quite challenging. And you've got a lot of room for nuance and hints. And we pl with the scenes got stretched around every day. I mean, we just would stretch them around just to see what was within them. And there was often stuff it was so well written this film, and it was quite subversive and yeah and the, and the fact that you know people realism. who don't want to reveal themselves people mm. who hide in various ways decide to hide even more by taking on these roles and actually that's where the revelations come because they you know they, they can't find intimacy unless they're pretending to be someone else well yeah. intimacy is revealing uh, you know so all this stuff starts to to come out uh, obliquely you know. perfect thank you